Hello and welcome to this demonstration of ANSYS AIM. In this video I'll show you how to perform a magnetostatic analysis using AIM. I'll use the AIM magnetic template for this simulation. This template simulates the magnetic field that's generated when a DC current passes through a conductor and calculates force, torque, magnetic flux density and other quantities of interest. The model I've selected for this simulation is a relay or electromagnetic switch. The relay works by mechanically opening or closing an electrical circuit using an electromagnet. In this model the coil that generates the magnetic field is represented by a solid body. When a DC current passes through the coil it generates a magnetic field that attracts the armature and opens an electric circuit. Of course, the switch can be designed to close a circuit when it's activated as well. In AIM, I'll use the magnetic template, and I'm only interested in to compute the force on the armature, so I'll select that and create the simulation process. This model represents both the physical relay switch and also an enclosure. I'll turn the translucent display on so that we can see the shape of the model. As you can see the relay is housed inside the enclosure. This enclosure sets the domain of the problem, um, essentially the system that the solver would deal with and the requirements are that the magnetic flux lines that are generated by the relay don't cross the boundaries of this uh, container. I need to assign materials to my model and I will start by assigning air to the um, uh, enclosure. And then I'll hide it to make it easier to work with the rest. I'll assign copper to the coil and steel to the yoke, the armature and the core. Proceeding to the rest of the physics, I'll see that the force computation requires attention and that's because I requested computation of the force but I haven't specified where this computation should be for and I want to know the force on the armature. Next I'll need to define a terminal and I can do that under electromagnetic conditions. And I'll set the number of conductors to 200. And also a winding assigned to that terminal an operating current of 100 milliamps. I could go ahead and execute my model now and complete the simulation but I'll request some results first. I can request magnetic flux density as contour plots or vector plots. I'll request the vector plot for the enclosure Request the magnetic flux density. The 
that I'll request the same quantity as a contour. and request that quantity for the yoke, armature, and the core. And finally, I request the contour plot of the current density for the coil. I can now update my results and physics solution at the same time. While the solution is running I can monitor progress using the data on the Solution Monitors tab, which appears as soon as it becomes available. My solution is now complete. I can review my results. The calculated value is reported, and the vector and contour plots that I requested are also available. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.